Hi folks, and welcome to more Dominion on Seaside. Mm. What's going on here? So, looks like we don't have any uh, plus buy, and uh, we don't have trashing, and the only extra gain is smugglers. Hmm, interesting. So, That's not a that's not a very fascinating word. Let's just say, I think I'm gonna open something like warehouse cut purse, <clears throat> and we'll try. Oh, it's it's not even it's not even immediately clear how you want to go with this board because the thing is, um, money options are non-existent here. Like big money cut purse is not a thing you know it, and uh, engine is really really weak here so I guess you try and build for a little bit and then add golds and yeah something like that uh, you can try and set up the native village setting aside bad cards for you and Actually, with Warehouse and Pearl Diver, it's not entirely impossible. And with Navigator, I guess. But um, I think it's a lot of... Uh, you, you really need to invest in that. And then most of the time, you still won't be able to guarantee... won't be guaranteed to actually do that. So, mm, mm, I don't know. I, I wouldn't go with that. Let's get the caravan here. And yeah, I think it's the board where as soon as you hit six, you get the gold and I'll get like, uh, I'll probably end up having a couple of treasuries, a couple of caravans, some silvers, yeah. I'm drawing this cut purse really nicely. That's good. Uh, warehouse, uh, there's nothing to write home about, but uh, it it will get uh, it will have a chance to really shine at the end game because the if you just look at the plus three cards plus one action, it sounds like an amazing card, right? So uh, when you need to discard, if you if you discard only like your victory cards and you don't draw them again this turn, it's just as good, you know. So. Yeah, like here, it's basically, it gave me, you know, discarding two, those two estates, it's just nothing. So, it, it's, it, this turn it was better than a laboratory for me. Have the caravan in play. Mm, I think you pretty much want uh, at least a cut purse on this board. Smugglers would have been, a, could be a consideration as well. So I'm basically I'm just loading on gold here, and yeah, sometimes you know, not not the whole lot of uh, other stuff to do here. Somebody asked me to um, post a game with no village. Well, this this board has villages, but uh, engine is not all, is not all about villages. It's just you know, mm, it's about payload too, and here it's just not not there. So I have three golds already. I'm right into the shuffle, but I think I'll take the prawns. Mm, probably don't need the gold number four right now. And also, uh, warehouse kind of makes this prawns not so bad to put into the shuffle. I mean, it's still bad, but it, it smoothens it a bit. Obviously, you have no control over uh, whether you will actually be able to discard victory cards with warehouse. But yeah, like this warehouse was not like really amazing, but whatever. So five princes in the pile. It's either Dutch or gold. I think let's take the gold, and we can top deck the treasury in this way for whatever it's worth. All right, my opponent catch ups here. Uh, 
that should definitely be a dashi at this point. Let's hope we draw a coin here with the caravan. Uh, he doesn't have any anything set aside on the native village. Well, now he does a card, but it's... Alright, that's a prize for them, so... Uh, it's good though, because I... We end up... Um, being ahead in points, and... Uh, yeah, they, they can't really... If they would... If they would hit eight here, they they can't really take the prize because I I I then win on the prize. Do I do I play the warehouse? Thing is, I can just take the dashi here, um, and then this gold won't miss the shuffle. But then if I if I can hit prize here, it would be it would be so good, and I can. That was an amazing draw. So good for me. This turn is gonna suck. Well, if I can draw the gold, then I'll be able to get the dash at least. But no, it's fine. I'll just take the state. Yeah. Obviously, this deck is falling apart. <laughs> but um, that's why we usually don't play money because decks fall apart. Mm, my opponent takes dashi here, uh, with which I strongly disagree. Uh, not the dashi gold, right? Uh, they definitely should have should have gotten a dashi because they they really need to get both dashi and prance. The prance is it's not enough for them. All right, that's just the state. I'm going full green now. It's just yeah. a drone warehouse would be amazing here. But good news is uh, I, I don't have any golds in my discard, I don't have them in this hand, so maybe they're kind of concentrated there. And uh, that's what we want. Well, never mind, we, we get one here, but it's fine because I can get a dashi. Uh, yeah, it is like I still have two golds in those seven cards, so yeah, here we go. I have decent draws here. Yeah, here's a, here's a money-ish board for you. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.